Slavia immediately started the first half at high intensity, quickly taking control of the match and di dictating its rhythm from the get-go. It became quickly apparent, in fact, that Academia was having a hard time dealing with Slavia's pressing, and by the 13th minute, they conceded the first goal of the match after Michael Azilinon put a through ball for Adam Vlazak, who, once face-to-face -face with the keeper, kept his cool and scored. At the 24th, a corner kick for Slavia put Thomas Vlacek in position to attempt his own shot on goal, but the defense did a good job in closing him down. Eight minutes later, though, Slavia did find another goal, this time thanks to Milan Slanina, who received a nice pass and masterfully dr dribbled into the area, finding himself alone in front of the keeper. Slavia orchestrated another great play at the 35th minute, but the resulting shot went just wide of the goal. Finally, at the end of the first half, Slavia did find its third goal when Vaslav Perisevic served a nice as assist to Vlasak, who scored his second goal of the game. The second half saw Slavia lessen the pace and intensity a bit, which in turn allowed Academia a little more room to develop its play. However, both times they pushed forward to try something, at the third minute and then at the twelfth, their attempts were rather timid and did not cause any problems. Unfortunately for them, Slavia then reasserted its superiority at the 19th minute on the heels of a corner kick, when a ball into the middle of the box was skillfully caught by Azirinon, who then turned and netted the ball in the left-hand corner. 19 minutes later, Slavia scored yet another goal after the Academia's keeper rushed out to stop an incoming attack, his deflection inadvertently serving a perfect assist to Jan Zamburek, who had to do nothing more than shoot straight into the empty goal. A little more than a minute after, Ladislav Krobot scored the final goal of the match, bringing the final tally to an impressive 6-0.